Hello everyone, and welcome to this short educational video by the Copenhagen Center on Energy Efficiency. Now, this video is about the tool we have developed, the Street Lighting Energy Efficiency Calculator, which is an online tool that enables municipalities to calculate the savings they can realize on public lighting systems. The tool is online and accessible on our website. Now, on this page, first off, the user needs to fill in some basic information about themselves, including municipality name and the country of origin. Now, regarding this example, we have used real life data for it to be accurate. However, the municipality was not located in Lebanon. Population needs to be entered, average of sunlight hours in the country, the price of electricity, and the year of data submission. Now, onto the tool itself, the user needs to fill in the fixtures, that is the lighting systems they have, the power, number of fixtures, and the local cost of the lamp. Here on the left, many types of lamps are listed to accurately represent a lighting system. For this system, we have mercury vapor lamps, metal highlight, high pressure sodium, and LED lamps. Now, a note about LED. As you enter the data of your, of your system, so power, number, and price, you also need to fill in the lumen output of the lamp in lumen per watt. If it is not filled for every box, for every lamp, then the tool cannot run. Now, once the fixtures have been entered, on to dimming practices. So, what are dimming practices? Dimming is when the intensity of the lighting system is reduced for a certain number of hours per day to reduce consumption. There is a certain percentage of dimming and a certain percentage of the lamps that are dim, as well as a certain number of hours per year. Uh, in this example, no dimming was used. Please uh, enter accordingly to your municipality. Now, regarding the financial part, running cost and maintenance, First off, the tool needs to know who is in charge of the maintenance of the lighting system, either the municipality or an external company. Then the average cost of man labor in US dollars per hour is entered, as well as the average cost of equipment. That would be the use of vehicles, fuels, security, whatsoever. Now, as everything has been entered, you can then click Show Results to generate a report that is uh, separated in several parts. First off, you visualize the savings that can be made from your current lighting system if it is switched to an LED street lighting system. Now, uh, the tool also includes if you use dimming controls, that is sensors to dim the lamps when no one is around, or if you don't. Now, here you can visualize the electricity savings in gigawatt hour per year. So, fully LED without controls, fully LED with controls. Now, you can also visualize the financial savings in uh, thousands of dollars per year. Again, without and with controls. And finally, the CO2 emission savings that are realized. Now, here in this part of the report, you can visualize the technology mix that you are currently using on the left. So here we have LED, high pressure sodium, mercury vapor, the types of lamps that we are currently using. And here on the right, the annual cost comparison in US dollars. The baseline, that is the system you are currently using, LED without controls and LED with controls. Finally, you are presented with the investment that will be need, needed to realize the change to LED lighting system, and the payback period, that is, after which time uh, the municipality gets its money back from the savings realized on the system. And finally, you receive some assumptions on how the system is functioning. So that is it for our street lighting energy efficiency calculator. You can access it on the Copenhagen Center on Energy Efficiency website. 
please come back to us if you have any additional questions regarding the tool and have a very nice day.